Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life Process video. This video I'm working on week 27 from 2017. So it's kind of like the middle of summer, which is weird because as I'm recording this, it is the end of summer. So it's, I don't know, my kids have a week left of school. So it's, we're just really winding down here. So it's fun to be able to look back on this was the week of the 4th of July, so it was fun to look back on such a fun week and, you know, what everyone was up to. Okay, so you saw that I cut all my photos up and I put them in the places that I thought, think that I want them. And now I'm just looking through some cards from that most recent Studio Calico kit, which, which was July, which is so interesting because that July um, plastic word that I've been using all year, that was the last month. So I don't know what they're gonna be doing in August. It actually just came today by mail, so I'm kind of excited to see um, if they're gonna do something different for this next year. Uh, you can see that I'm also looking through some three by four cards that came in the kit, which is actually fun because I haven't seen these since. Um, since I opened up the package, so it's a reminder to me that I need to uh, need to pull them out and use them. I think I may have stuck them in another spot and I didn't realize it, that they were over in another area, so I just need to pull those things out. So now you can see that I'm just throwing some uh, photos and the cards that I pulled out. So one of the cards that I pulled out, that one with the rainbows i actually didn't want that card it was what was on the other side that i thought would work great for the next week so that's why i just went ahead and slipped it in the pocket um also i was i didn't find a card that i really loved from the kit or that i had on on hand so i went through my papers and i found one with some reds and blues which i thought would go really great for this fourth of july week and i thought it would be a really great backer as well to the july word and um what i decided to do is when i was cutting it out i realized that um part of the cardstock you know oftentimes where they have the label or on the manufacturer manufacturer they have that you know different color of pattern pattern paper and i decided that i really like that on the bottom so i decided to use that uh, that one for the card instead of just the plain paper uh, so now you can see I'm doing a little bit of journaling. This journaling was all about what we did on the 4th of July. Just, um, you know, it didn't need to be much more than a few sentences. So uh, the, the card, maybe it's hard to see there, but the card was actually uh, a fireworks. So I thought that that was pretty cute. So the next thing that I'm doing is I'm making my own card here. And... I took a, I guess I didn't do this on screen, but I found a card that had previously been made that was sectioned off into seven sections. And then I made a marking with um, pencil. And you can see that now I'm just making the lines. Uh, I'm just making those lines then with my T ruler. And I, it, I'm really surprised actually that you can't, you don't see me do the pencil. Maybe I did it before or something I, I can't remember why it's the footage actually isn't in here but it was really simple once I found a card that had already had it divided by seven because that really would be the trickiest part is trying to figure out you know how big the sections need to be so I'm glad that that was already taken care of and that I could use another card to create my own so that's an option as well so now I'm taking this older studio calico stamp set this came from their stamp set kits and I am using the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to stamp on. My plan for this card is I want to do just a little bit of journaling of what was going on that day, just a really brief synopsis. So I thought this would be a really great option. And I love the hand-drawn um, writing on that font there. And then the ink that I used was Allie Edwards' um, it's her red ink. I think it's called Pendleton, but don't quote me. I will definitely have it linked below. So now I'm really just writing, I think it's maybe like three sentences of what was going on each day. Um, some days were fuller than others, but really it was, I don't want to say it was a slower week, but 
the girls had a cousin over that they were hanging out with and so they were doing stuff with her and really I spent a few days just really cleaning out and organizing my studio uh, so that is primarily, primarily what I did that week, at least for a couple of days. So, uh, it was just fun. I really liked being able to just put a little synopsis there. So I've actually thought about that card a lot since I've done it. And I'm like, I need to do that card again because I really enjoyed it. All right. So I'm wanting to add some stickers onto the card. I, I wanted to do some, a little something. And so I decided to go for some stickers, these stickers, I believe, I don't think these are available anymore, and I do apologize for that. I think they are from um, Basic Gray, and I got them years ago. But there might be something similar in your stash. I really do enjoy just that small white font, and I love that they give you so many letters because then, I mean, I've had this for a long time. But actually, when I was using it, I was thinking, oh my gosh, do I need to conserve this? Uh, because I, I really, you know, like using them. But of course, I told myself, no, you need to use your supplies. You have a lot of supplies. You need to use your supplies and you're always going to get more. So that's one of the things that I constantly need to uh, be encouraging myself to do. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to mention, and I think that I've failed to mention this in other videos because I'm talking about something else at the time, but when I'm putting on stickers, and especially small stickers like these letter stickers, I like to use tweezers. And the reason is because when I'm trying to put these stickers down and I'm using my fingers, my fingers just get in the way and it's really hard for me to see A, if I like it, and B, if it's even. And so the tweezers allow me to be able to see exactly where I'm placing them down and make sure it's even and make sure it's exactly where I want to go. So maybe try that out if you are struggling with getting your stickers in the right place. So um, I'm just looking for one more a photo that I'm going to add um, some of the stickers to and I grab that one of my studio. You can kind of see how I've pulled a bunch of stuff out and working on that. That's one thing about working on projects that I've realized is I, when it comes to like documenting that, is I get so focused on what I'm doing that I forget to take a picture. And so um, oftentimes I have to really think, okay, stop what you're doing and go take a picture. And that's what I did here. Um, I think that this was actually a lot bigger of a mess before I took this picture. But by the time I took this picture, it, there was still stuff around, but it was a little bit better than wh what it was at its worst. So I don't know, maybe right, like if you're like me, maybe set a timer on your phone where when the timer goes off, say, okay, I just need to stop and take a picture right now. I think sometimes that helps. Um, I know some people doing the 12, 12 project that I do, which is taking pictures all day long have said, you know, sometimes I forget in the middle of the day and sometimes maybe it would be helpful to just set an alarm like every hour to take a picture. So that's something you can consider as well. All right. So I grabbed over this card and I think it just said, it says something like just another day or something like that. I can't now remember. My journaling's all about, uh, really the pace of this summer and how this summer has been going and how it's been busy. Um, but then there's also been those moments of relaxation. I just feel like it's kind of been really, it's really, it's been a perfect summer. I've really enjoyed it um, with, you know, a vacation and then just doing little things here and there, but there really has been some downtime admits the busyness, which has been really enjoyable as well. So you can see that I was kind of hesitating with that date stamp and I wasn't sure if I wanted to put it right underneath the July like I normally do if I want to put it, you know, put it on the bottom. You can see that I definitely put it on the bottom there. It's harder to, I think it's harder to see the stamping in real life. Uh, you can see it really clear, but because of the video, those, um, the lines I feel like are really messing with your eyes, but you can really see it well in real life. So I really liked um, having the option there. So now I just wanted to add a little bit more something. So I was looking through a bunch of my stickers and I came across the Allie Edwards one and I love that it was red because, um, you know, there's so the 4th of July, I've got red in the title card. And then of course I stamped the red and you can see that there's red in a towel. So there's just little, you know, there's a red, um, umbrella. So there's just little bits and pieces of red. So I thought it'd be fun to bring in some more red. And then I remembered, oh yeah, she had a blue one. So I pulled over the blue 
Uh, but when I'm, you know, putting the blue onto the card, I realize I just don't like it as much. I really love the red and how much the red was popping. So I just decided to add the red there and then just do, I don't know how, how many I end up doing, but, and then just do a little bit here and there. Um, I didn't, I didn't put something on every photo. One of the things that I realized with these sticker cards or the, um, with this text is so many of them will would go so great that it's hard to decide exactly which one you want to use. So that's one of the things that has always kind of been a little bit challenging when using those. Um, but I really love them. And of course, like I said, I just really like just having that pop of color there. Uh, so now I've got this, um, the stub, this flight stub that I wanted to use from my husband's, I thought that I would just put it there. He was up, I was gonna say he was up in Alaska, but that's not true. <laughs> he just flew Alaska. Um, he was in, he had gone to San Diego. So I was just writing uh, a little bit about that and then wanted to uh, stick that in there. So I like adding those bits and pieces uh, to our book as well. So now I'm looking just one more thing. I wanted to add one more thing. I especially loved that that stub, you know, the Alaska was blue. So I thought that it'd be fun to add a red there just to add a little bit something more. So there'd be three. Anyway, you guys, this is the spread for this week. I hope you guys were able to get some inspiration from it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so so you can get updates. All right, you guys, we will catch you in the next video. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.